All right, here's one that we did. It was 12 cans of soda. Was 144 ounces. Okay. And it wanted to know how many ounces eight cans of soda were. And if you can tell what happened from here to here, then you can do the same thing from here to here. But I don't know what to do to 12 to make it into an eight. But I'm not sure what to do there. So because I don't know, because if it's dividing it by, I think it's dividing it by 1.5. So you can divide this by 1.5. But I don't know what, I don't know if that's the answer or not. So, because I don't know what the answer is, how to do that, the other way to do this is to do cross multiplication. 12x is equal to 144 times 8. 12x is equal to 144 times 8. And 144 times 8, which he can use a calculator for this part, 8 times 4 is 32, 8 times 4 is 32, plus 3 is 35, 8 times 1 is 8, plus 3, it's 1152. So this times this is 1152. 12 times something is 1152. 1152. So 12x is equal to this is equal to 1152. And in order to, now I have 12x equals 1152. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna divide it by 12 on both sides and that isolates x and makes it alone because 12, x times 12 divided by 12 is just x. So I divide both sides by 12 and he's gonna plug 1152 into his calculator and that's going to tell him what X is. And I don't know what it is, and I'm not going to do it. <laughs> but that's how you do that. Okay, there was another one that said the ratio of length to width is 3 to 2. So that would be length to width is 3 to 2. So that means the length is 3, the width is 2. Whichever one's first, that's the one that's going to be first. So if it's 3 to 2, and it says if the width is 10, what is the length if they're both proportional? So the width is the 2. So I'm going to put the width that's 10 equal with the 2. And I don't know x. I don't know the length. So this is something times 10. Something 2 times something is 10. So 2 times 5 is 10. So 3 times 5 is 15. So x equals 15. The other way to solve this if you don't know how to do it, which you do this way, but in case you don't, you can do this. 2x is equal to 3 times 10. And 3 times 10, I can't solve 2x because I don't know what 2x is, but 3 times 10 I can. And that's 30. So 2x equals 30. So if 2x is just 30, then I would just divide 30 in half, and that's going to tell me how many 1x is, because I want to know what 1x is. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2, because x times 2 divided by 2, these cross out, and that makes it just x. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2. That's going to isolate the x off to 1x. 30 divided by 2 is 15. x equals 15. If I plug 15 back up here, then that's correct because this is 2 times 5 and 3 times 5 is 15. It's correct. And 2 times 15 is 30 and 3 times 10 is 30. Okay, so we're going to talk about V-Bucks. V-Bucks are $7.99 for a thousand V-Bucks. Okay, you want dollars to be on top. If I had written a thousand V-Bucks on top, I could do that, but it's easier to divide money into decimals because money is already a decimal but it's difficult if I had like a thousand and a half V bucks or a thousand two hundred and seventy point two five it's easier to divide money so you want to put money on top and I want to know how much it would be if I had if I only got 500 V bucks okay how much it would be 
is my x. That's what I don't know. Okay, so what I can do is I can say from here to here, what, what changed? Well, I divide it in half. I divided it by 2. So this one I'm also going to divide by 2. That is one way to do proportions. The other way is to say whatever this is is equal to whatever this is when you multiply it, cross multiplication. So $7.99 oops, seven dollars and times 500, so we'll just do 7.99 7 times 500 is equal to 1,000x. 7.99 times 500 is 3,995, and I'm going to bring down my 1,000x. Now I've solved this side, because I couldn't solve this side, I don't know what x is. So what I'm going to do is 1,000 times x, well this is 1,000 times something, so I'm going to divide it by 1,000. Because really I have 1,000 times x, and if I divide it by 1,000, that's just going to give me x as my answer. So if I have 1 plus 9 minus 9, well these two cancel out, then it's just 1. So these two cancel out. So if I have x times 1,000 divided by 1,000, then the answer is just x. But if I do it on this side, I have to change it on this side too. So this 3,995 divided by 1,000 is just moving it, the decimal over one, two, three times to the left. My due decimal is here, 3.995 equals x. So if I want half of the V-Bucks, it's going to be $3.99, probably closer to $4. So if I can do 40 math problems in 30 minutes, I'm super smart. I want to know how many math problems I can do in one hour in 60 minutes. From here to here, I know that I just multiplied it by 2. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to just multiply that by 2. So I can do 80 math problems. Okay, I know 80. Oops, what am I doing? I know that 80 is the answer. X equals 80 problems. Okay, I know that. But what I wanted to show you is how you can solve it if you don't know that, how to do that. Because sometimes these numbers don't correlate here. So this is equal with this. So this is 30x is equal to 40 times 60. And 4 times 6 is 24. 6, 12, 18, 24. And I'm going to put two zeros on the end. So this is 2,400 and this comes down. So I can solve this one. I can't solve this one because I don't know what x is. I don't know what 30x is, 30 times x is. So 40 times 60 is 2400. 30x is also 2400. This is saying that 30 times something is also 2400. And I don't know what that is. So you could either solve it that way or you can do it this way. Well 30 times x divided by x will cross off these two because if I have x times 30 divided by 30, well this crosses and that crosses, this is just an x. But if I do it on this side, I gotta do it on this side too. So x equals 2400 divided by 30. If you put this into your calculator, that will give you what x equals. And it's gonna be 80. 24 divided by three is eight and I'm gonna have one zero. So, 30, if I plug in x here, and I put 80 here, 30 times 80 is 24. 3 times 8 is 24 with two zeros on the end. That is 24. So the answer is 80. So these are like a big puzzle. If three apples, okay, and they all work together. If three apples weighs one pound, Okay, and I want to know how many apples do I have if I have six pounds. 
Okay, lots of places do things by weight. Yeah. So from here to here, I can solve that. I don't know if three to something, I don't even know. I can't have two variables unnamed. I don't even know what I'm going to here. But if I do one times something is six, oh, one times six is six. Okay, then three times six is x. Three times six, six, 12, 18, x equals 18. I know the answer already only because I know how to do that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is cross multiply. Just in case these numbers don't correlate, okay? This time they do, one times x, that's just one x, it's just x, x times one. We just call that x, and that's equal to three times six. Three times six is 18. So one times x is also 18. <laughs> so this is x equals one x equals three times six. 1x equals 3 times 6, and 3 times 6 is 18, and I'm just going to call this x, x equals 18. I don't have to do anything here because my x is already 1, okay, so even if I divided it by 1, even if I did that, then this would cross out this, and x equals 18 over 1, which is just 18, so x equals 18. So creating the proportions can be the hard part, but if you remember that if I have 3 fish, I can have three fish in a 20 gallon tank, okay? Then I wanna know how many fish can I have in a 30 gallon tank? As long as you remember that these ones have to be on the same one, I could also write this this way. I can write in a 20 gallon tank, I can have three fish. It's still, as long as these two correlate together, these two sets of data work together, 20 gallons, three fish. My other set of data is this, 30 gallons. Uh-oh, did you see what happened there? I wrote my 30 on top because the gallons and the 30, the 20 gallons and the 30 gallons, they have to work together. Well, then my X goes with my fish. It's telling me how many fish, okay? So... 20 to 30, I actually don't know what to multiply it by to get that. I think it's 1.5, but I'm not going to guess because I'm not really sure. So I don't even know what to multiply it by. This is a good example, okay? So 20x, okay, is equal to 3 times 30. 3 times 3 is 9, so this is 90. 20x equals 90. And I want to know what 1x is, okay? 1x is 90 divided by 20. I actually don't know what that is. If you plug it into your calculator, 90 divided by 20 will be, give you the answer for x.